Hello friends, in uh, this video I'm going to show you what to do if you encounter an invalid path issue like um, getting an invalid path in live server.settings.root issue or if the wrong project is being loaded when you uh, use the live server extension in uh, VS Code. So uh, live server by uh, Ritwick Day is a great extension that allows you to see your HTML development project updated in real time. So basically what it does is uh, as soon as you hit save in your uh, project, it will uh, update automatically in your, uh, in your browser. Um, so no need to manually refresh the website to see your, uh, your, see your changes. So it's, uh, it's a really handy little extension. Um, but there's, uh, there's one issue I haven't encountered. Uh, when I create a new project and sometimes I get an invalid path in that live server.settings.root or sometimes it will just uh, load the wrong project and for a long time I couldn't understand why because sometimes it would work and sometimes it wouldn't uh, but I uh, found a solution and it's uh, really really simple and uh, I can't believe I can figure it out sooner but uh, what I used to do was to, uh, if I wanted to create a brand new project, I just went up here and uh, create a new file like this. And uh, then started to uh, uh, edit the file. And um, in this file, I'll just, uh, what I did was just uh, save it. So uh, let's see, save as. And then uh, just save it. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna save it up here and just call it. Uh, it's an HTML file. Then uh, just call it uh, index.html. And just uh, enter save. And then uh, yeah, let's start the. Uh, so I'm just gonna do a easy hello world tag. Hello world hit save and then all right so uh, you can uh, open up the live server either by uh, clicking down here go live or right click and then choose open with uh, live server and um, then you see the server is started here um, so either you will get an error message down here it will say um, invalid path in live server dot settings dot root or you will just uh, end up here in the listing directory and uh, this is not your uh, your project so how to solve that is fairly simple you uh, what you need to do is you need to open it up in a uh, workspace so if you go back here into the folders um, either you create a new folder and uh, so I click actually right here new folder and uh, it's gonna do a uh, simple website name it like that and then uh, move the uh, file into the new, new folder like this then uh, in here in VS code you can just uh, do this add folder or open folder so either way it's fine it's going to open the folder and um, this is the folder we want website select folder and uh, file Mm, no, don't save. And then uh, just wait for it to reload. All right, so now you can see the folder here, website and index is open on the index. And then, uh, oops, that was wrong. All right, and now let's uh, let's try to open this one up in uh, live server. So open with live server. And this time you should get to your project right here right so uh, once again what you need to do is to um, open up the whole folder the whole project needs to be opened up in uh, VS code before you can uh, open it up in uh, live server right so just to show you that it works I'm just gonna delete world hit save let's not move here so you can see all right so the old one was hello world now if I click 
save or if I save this document, it's just going to be hello here, right? This is as hello here. All right, there you go. All right, so uh, that was pretty much it. I uh, hope you liked it, and uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next.